is the case out of all art restitution cases that really shaped the discussion uh, for, the, for, the, for the following years. They want it back because it belongs to the family, because it belonged to Leia Bondi, and it was stolen from her by an avowed Nazi. I can hear her, and you can see in the handwriting the sadness, the upset that was in those recollections. This was big. This was a big painting. This involved another government. This was at a major New York museum. On behalf of the Museum of Modern Art, it is my great pleasure to welcome you this evening to this wonderful celebration, the Leopold Collection Vienna. It was due to go back uh, within a couple of days to Austria. The district attorney's action in barring the paintings from returning to the lender has the potential of seriously affecting the future of art loans in this country. I thought the argument was an absolute jaw-dropper. I really did. Let, let's not forget that, that the entire New York Museum's community, including the Jewish Museum, got together in order to express its deep concerns about this and how art lending as known to mankind would come to an end. It's not a moral matter, it's a money matter. Because the moral issues in these areas get shady pretty fast, especially when there's a chance to get money out of it. These are vestiges of a people's history, of a family's history. And it is terribly important, I think, that that be honored. There should be a rush to judgment on these cases.